everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you guys another big New York City vlog. Today is our second full day in New York and we are up right early this morning. It has just gone 8 a.m. and that's actually like an hour earlier than we got up yesterday because we have got a long full day today of activities we're gonna do. Yesterday was so much fun. I feel like even mum said it was genuinely one of the best days of our lives. We got so much done. Like I planned us like a little itinerary the night before and in my head I was like, yeah, we could probably like definitely execute this but like we did it perfectly and we still got in a decent hour. So we had like a full night's sleep last night, woke up this morning and we can be up like out and early again so the plan for today is to head down to soho for breakfast because there's a really nice bagel place that i've spotted that i'd like to go to if not we'll just walk around and find another restaurant and then i really 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 want to try and find myself a chanel handbag i have one in mind that i really want to buy but obviously i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find it because it's all like vintage chanel so we're gonna go into some vintage shops and some like thrifting shops and have a look around those and then i'll also go in actual chanel as well to see if i can find it and then just have a little walk around soho do some shopping because i've never actually been been to Soho in New York before so I'm excited to see all of that and then mum wants to go to Carrie Bradshaw's apartment which is on Perry Street so we're going to try and find that then we're going to go to the Empire State Building then we're going to go for a walk around Central Park and then we're going to end back in Times Square and we're going to get some food in the Hard Rock Cafe before we go to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child that was a mouthful I cannot wait to go and see Harry Potter I've been so ever since I put these tickets two months ago I've been so so excited and I feel like after going to Ellen Stardust Diner yesterday it's made me even more excited to go and watch it it's a really long production but i kind of like that because i like watching a black like broadway in the west end so yeah i'm excited my outfit today is full of from sisters and seekers i'm obsessed with it it's like a big puffer like bomber jacket cord matching trousers and then i've also got to pair with it i bought these chanel sunglasses a couple of years ago and i haven't really wore them like i don't know why they've just kind of sat in my bedroom but they're so cute so i'm gonna whip these out today for a day in new york you're right Atticus. what are you wearing come and show everyone your outfit this is what i bought in for christmas i've got this hoodie fear of god hoodie and then these fear of god joggers um, and then nypd <laughs> mum's outfit is slaying in the background as well i can see you standing there eager to do an outfit of the day, we're, you're, just waiting, you're waiting for your time on the runway go on on the runway go on i think, on we're, all, runway, I think we're all slaying today i think we're all slaying today okay, are we ready? go on <laughs> <laughs> Mum, where's your outfit, Rob? Every single bit of Zara, actually. Um, oh, we've got a full Zara fit today. Full Zara coat, Zara jumper, Zara trousers, apart from my new balance. Yeah. So we're doing like. Oh, my hat's HM. We're doing like full uh, outfits from the same shop today. This. I know, we're doing full outfits from the same shop. I'm full Sisters and Seekers, you're full Fear of God, and Mum's full Zara. Anyway, let's go to Soho. We have arrived in Soho in New York, and it's so quiet this morning. I think we've just come out maybe too early before everything opens, but we're actually going to come to Sadell's for breakfast. I didn't think we were going to be able to get a table because I tried to go online and it said that it was fully booked and then we walked in and they said that we have to wait an hour um, but we can have a table and I'm so excited they do like proper New York bagels and they come on like a bagel tower so I'm really excited but I'm gonna have a little wander up this street Atticus has just got some scrambled eggs to go because he's really hungry but yeah I'm so excited to be here Atticus's breakfast has arrived outside it looks amazing come in this massive bag is that is it potato yeah that is what I just had it's also got some sausage wow can I try a bit of potato Oh wow. Okay, yeah, that potato's amazing. Mm. Nice, aren't they? We are inside. We're just sussing out the menu. I think I'm going to go for the house salmon bagel and it comes with tomato, cucumber, capers and I'm going to get it on a plain one and then we're going to get a side of scrambled eggs because those scrambled eggs were the best egg I've ever tried. Our food has arrived. So you get this little tower put in the middle of your table and I got salmon and then you get cucumber, tomatoes and mum got avocado. And we've got our little bagel tower over there and then I also got a side of scrambled egg and mum got as well two poached eggs and some potatoes. These potatoes are so good genuinely if you guys are in new york you need to come here it's time to make a bagel cream cheese and then salmon not jelly but it's like black salmon <laughs> We have just come out of breakfast and that is the best breakfast I think I've ever been out for in my entire life. If you're in New York, you need to come to Soho and you need to try it. It was called Sedell's and don't get me wrong, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't on the cheaper side. When we were looking at the prices, we were like, wow, this is expensive for a bagel. But it was amazing and the service and how they like display it all out is just so incredible. So yeah, that was so much fun. And now we are going to do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to go to a shop called The Real Real 
real. I was like googling different um, like vintage shops and stuff where they sell like, really cool like um, vintage designer pieces and that's one of the ones that come up. So I think it's down this street here and I'll show you what they've got. This area of New York is just so cool. Like I've never been to this area before. It's a lot quieter. I mean it's still only like half 10 quarter to 11 but it's just really really cool down here. Mum's trying on some shoes. Like They're this. really cool. I've never seen any trainers like that before, no, actually. Like They're really nice. This shop is amazing, by the way. Like, ridiculous. No, 200. 200. They were six and a half. But I don't know if they're, gonna... they're nice. How amazing is this bag? I have fallen in love with this bag. I just looked through the catalogue and they do have two of like the designer bags that I wanted. So I'm going to try them on to see if I like them. I've wanted to do this for so long and I feel like buying it in New York with my mum is just like, yeah, that's kind of always what I wanted. So fingers crossed, I really like the ones that they have. Basically, this shop is just full of like vintage Chanel stuff. They also have Birkins in here. Never in my life have seen a Birkin before and they are gorgeous. That one too. I am obsessed with but the thing is I really want like a classic black one before I buy any colour bag because like, all I do is like wear black bags this is the first one that we were looking at I really like this however it's just very small and the strap on it like you can't have it on your shoulder you can just have it over your body and I kind of wanted one where you can like have the option on how to wear it but it is gorgeous though this one is yeah stunning okay so I just come out of the shop and I got myself a bag I am beyond excited and grateful that I just got to do that and buy that whilst I was in New York I have all always wanted to buy myself this bag but this bag it actually has a slight twist which you'll see when i unbox it later on in this video to what i actually originally wanted but i feel like that made me fall in love with it more like the shape and the color is everything like exactly that i had in mind but i saw it and i was like that is actually really different for a chanel bag and i wanted something just a little bit different but still within my comfort zone and i feel like i just got that like perfectly in a bag so yeah i will do a little <laughs> unboxing later um now mum and Atticus are going to have a look around some shops i think we're going to go and grab Mommy a little drink or something Mummy has lost her gloves. We're retracing our steps. So Mum can try and find a glove because she loves those gloves. The yeah, we'll go back to the restaurant and have a look. But it's actually warmed up a lot. Like this morning, I was really cold and I was like, oh gosh, I might actually have to go back and get my coat. But now, yeah, it's warmed up loads. So we're gonna have a little look around, go to the Empire State Building. I am, oh yeah, Mum wants to go to coach. I'm personally shopped out for today. I think I've, um, I think I've bought enough. But yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys. Hi everyone. I'm just popping in here a couple of, well, actually nearly a week later because I love like I said, I didn't unbox the bag in New York. Um, I have been using it since, but I'm going to show you what bag I got. Also, just wanted to say this because I feel like I might get a few comments on this. I feel like a lot of people are going to say, did you not already have a Chanel bag that you've been wearing, the black one? I did. It was actually a fake. I got a copy of it. It was like 40 quid because I basically, before I bought and spent that money on like that style of handbag, I wanted to ensure that I actually really enjoyed having that sort of handbag because I've gone through so many different bags of different shapes and sizes and I basically just at the time didn't want to spend that much money on a Chanel bag so I bought a fake it was like 40 pounds and it done me really really well I really liked it there was quite a bit of like wear and tear on it by the time I bought this one but yeah so that one was fake so I've now bought myself a real one so this is my bag I am so in love with this bag I can't even tell you like just looking at it makes me so beyond happy and I'm so grateful that I was able to buy myself this bag so when I was in the shop I actually tried on a couple of them and I wanted it to be perfect like in my head I knew I was always going to go for black and it was going to be a flat bag and I wanted it to be black because for me I wanted a staple handbag that I'm always going to use and I knew that if I bought it in some crazy colour like orange which I love I would still love an orange Chanel bag but I just wouldn't get the use out of it as much as I will buying a black one but then I tried on a couple of like all black ones really liked them but there was just something off about them all like I was looking at it like I love it but I don't love it enough to spend that much money on it and then he bought out this one because I bought it from a shop called The Real Real which is basically secondhand designer stuff and I was dead set on wanting a vintage Chanel bag I didn't want to buy a brand new one I wanted something with a bit of history that someone's owned before and I personally just think vintage Chanel bags are kind of nicer than brand new ones so I got this one but this one actually has a nude strap and first of all when I saw it I was like wow that's different and I looked at it and my heart just like fell in love with it I was like it is beautiful especially with the nude strap it just adds something a little bit different to just a plain Chanel bag but I just think it's so gorgeous and because it's the two colours that I wear the most, I was like, I feel like this is just my dream bag. So this was actually made in 
three. So it is two, you said 2000. It is 20 years old. And to me, that was perfect. And it's in the best condition. It comes with obviously all the proper stuff that comes with the bag when you buy it, but it's gorgeous. And then inside it's just got this extra flap and then it's burgundy. And then we've got this storage at the front and then lots of storage in the middle. But this bag fits so much in. It fits everything in that I need really. It even fits my little tripod in, which is amazing. Um, but it's still like a small little dainty bag. So yeah, this is my gorge new Chanel bag that I am completely and utterly obsessed with. Super grateful to have been able to buy this. And this is my baby. And this is pretty much the only handbag I will be using for a very long time. When I was in the shop, they had so many amazing Chanel bags in there. And I was just drooling over them. Like all the little colors and the mini ones. I had this gorgeous pink one that I really wanted. But yeah, this is my very first flat bag, which I'm obsessed with. I actually bought, I don't know if you guys are going to remember. This was like when Saf was on Strictly. Was it 2018 or 2019? I can't remember. Me and Saf actually bought matching Chanel boy bags. But I actually really regret buying that bag because I haven't really used it. I bought it in a colour that I don't really like. The style I'm not really fond of. I feel like I loved it for like a minute and now I'm not sure. So I'm actually going to be selling that bag. So technically, even though I have bought one in the past, I this is the bag that I've always wanted. So yeah, this is technically my first Chanel that I'm actually going to be using because the other one is being sold. But yeah, this is the bag. Thank you so much to you guys for showing me love and support and enabling me to buy this bag. And other than that, let's get back to the rest of the New York vlog. We have now come to Perry Street and this is mum's absolute dream. This is Carrie Bradshaw's house from Sex and the City. I've actually not seen the series. I've never watched the films, but still this is so cool. Mum was absolutely obsessed with the series. So now we have been to Soho because after this was such a good boy, we said he could choose what he wanted to do for the afternoon. So first got a call was he wanted to come to Chick-fil-A because that is his favorite restaurant in America. He loves chicken nuggets and to be fair, they are some of the best chicken nuggets that I've ever tried. And then I have just got a brownie because to be honest, I'm still very, very, very full from that big breakfast. But it's then, my favorite fast food. And then Atticus wants to go to the Empire State Building and he wants to get a picture from afar and then he wants to go right up close to it. Then Mum's going to go to Urban Outfit and I think we're going to go Hershey's World, then Hard Rock, then Harry Potter. Show everyone what you got. Chips. Nuggets and lots of ketchup. They good? How do they come? Oh, that's cool. We are on our way up to the Empire State Building and we're going to have a little pop in Target. I love Target. Don't know what I'm going to buy, but we want to have a little look. Okay, they have got so many Valentine's chocolates here. I love Hershey's and we are about to go to Hershey's World, but they have got lava cake. These look fun as well. I don't know what those flavour are though. Melt away, what is it? I don't know what flavour that is. I can't see what flavour that is. Never mind. <gasps> These ones are cute. Pink cookies and cream. <gasps> Oh my god, they're so cute. I really wish the UK did like chocolate like this. Reese's miniature cups, blossom top, pink colored, green, that's so cute. Oh my god. <gasps> Rolos, I love Rolos. And strawberry, well, raspberry cream, Kit Kats. Okay, not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna have to buy both of these. Mum's just gone for a little shop around Target. What did you get? Uh, Apple watch strap. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Matches your hat. Oh no, it's purple. Never mind. Ignore me. I thought it was blue. I thought it matched your hat. It's blue, isn't is it? Is it? Oh. Oh, no, it is. It is. In the basket, it looked purple. Yeah. It is. And a car charger. Now, I'm hoping I bought a car charger from Amazon. And you know the bottom of it where you put it in? Yeah. It's too big for my iPhone. Yeah. Oh. Connection. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that should be fine. I'm hoping this will be okay. Yeah. Atticus is oh, playing a shopkeeper in Target. I think that's the last thing I got. Did I get something else? Atticus, oh, yeah. That's all your stuff, Anna. Woo. Thanks, Atticus. Now he's scanning mum's stuff. Is it not working? Oh, press. No, thanks. Kit Kat's mum. Yeah, they're mini ones. And goldfish. I got you into goldfish, didn't I? Okay, we are officially right underneath the Empire State Building. You impressed, Atticus? Is it big? Is it tall? We're going right up close to it. Oh, it's like a long line. Anna, look at that. I know, so tall. I know. I think that's bigger than the rock in it. Uh, yeah, I would say. Maybe, I reckon it's the same size. Yeah, no, I'd say it's about 10 I feel like, yeah, you don't really realise how big it is until you stand right underneath it. Whoa! Oh my god, no, I was looking at the bottle. Look at that! We actually just got given a free one as we came in, but this is huge! Oh, I thought it had syrup in it. It's a money bank, not an actual syrup bottle. And look at these, these are huge! They're my fave. Look at the big boxes of them you can get. 24 bar. I would have got some from here, but I bought them one from Target, didn't I? They literally have everything in here. They have travel pillows. Oh my god. Mum, look at this. Big Hershey's Kiss pillow. See, I can't lie. I know we're about to go for dinner, but they look unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I may have to get one. Oh my gosh, they do milkshakes, but they also do edible cookie doughs. 
and big cookies. These cookies look ridiculous. I think I'm just gonna go though for maybe a classic one. Last minute I changed my mind and I actually went for a cookie dough. Just wait until you see this. Here it is, look at this. I don't think I've ever properly had like actual cookie dough, like edible cookie dough before. Let's give it a try. Okay, I actually just went to try it and it is like rock solid and freezing cold. So I'm gonna wait until it like hits room temperature so it's kind of like gooey and melted. But Hershey's World has been a success and now we're gonna go to Hard Rock Cafe and I'm so excited to just sit down. I wonder how many steps we've done Today, Should we have a look? I can tell you, you have to convert it into miles for me. Okay, how many steps? I can tell you. Right, we've walked 8.88 kilometres. 8.88 kilometres. That kilometer. is buddy, yes, yes. That was, yeah, but we've only done half a day so far. Oh, steps, is that it? What I'm saying is that it. It feels like we've done more. 10,528. Oh, okay, miles. I know, but we've done 10,500 steps. Yeah, yesterday it was 18,000 steps. Oh, it was my 13. God, my back is killing. <laughs> Oh my god, Atticus is loving it. We've just finished eating in the hard rock. Go on, do it, do it. That's not the Gangnam style. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a Gangnam video. Oh. He just did it fine. <laughs> anyway, how excited are you two? I can control after this <laughs> Oh darling, I love you. Now you two, how excited are you? <laughs> I didn't even ask it. I didn't even ask. I went, how excited? He went, 10. I didn't even get to ask, how excited are you for Harry Potter? He just said 10. Do you enjoy that? Yes. <laughs> are you ready? To go to Hogwarts. Yeah, I don't know if Mummy is so. <laughs> well, I know it's going to be long, but what are you? What do you hope happens? We were just discussing it. We don't actually know. Like, I can't guess the story. Obviously, the main part of it is the cursed child, like Harry Potter's child, is going to Hogwarts. How excited are you, Mum? I'm really excited. Actually, it's my first Broadway. Oh my god, it is your first Broadway, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is the, probably the best one you can go to. <laughs> the best West End I've seen. Quite a few now. Was um, Beauty and the Beast, which surprised me because I didn't think. I would like it that much, but that was the best one I've been doing. We're just picking up some sweets for the show. We found these and it's a chocolate creature and you get a sticker inside. They also do have chocolate frogs. Should we get mummy one? Yeah, should we get mummy one as well? Pick one up for mummy. Um. Atticus is gonna do a little haul of what he just got from the gift shop. You got an owl. Cheers. The print on the back of the owl is really nice actually. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Happy? It was. No, it's not a candy bag, it's a bag. It's a the paper bag was a dollar. No, one dollar. Mummy's opening her chocolate animal. Let's see what one she got. Oh my god. What's that? I can't see. Uh, what is it? What do you see? I can't see it. Oh, it's, um, oh, what's its name? That's going to really annoy me. Does it say on the sticker? That's going to really bug me. Hedwig. Oh, is it? Hedwig, I think. I'm pretty sure. Did you get a sticker? Yeah, that's nice. Chocolate. Is it nice? Here you go. Oh, that's really cool. That's such a cool sticker. Time to open mine. Let's see what one I got. Oh, I got the cat sticker and I got bang. Oh, this is a nice shop actually. It tastes like crunch. We are back from Harry Potter. I honestly, I'm obviously not going to spoil what happens because for me, I had no idea what was going to happen. I'd made kind of assumptions in my head or like guesses <laughs> of what was going to happen, but it exceeded my expectations. But it, the thing is, it wasn't even that. Like, obviously, that is the ending of Harry Potter. And to me, like, I'm very, like, happy with the ending. I feel like the whole story, like, couldn't have been better. It was more like the appreciation I have for those actors and actresses doing that show like I don't want to spill too much but like young Harry Potter Albus the acting I just can't like in my head how they've done like a three hour production like that at their age and all the special effects and everything like I was saying to my mum like it feels like you were actually in the film like it wasn't like a classic musical where they're like singing and doing loads of dancing and stuff it just genuinely felt like I was in Hogwarts and I was watching these spells happen and I believed it like wholeheartedly that like it was actually happening and yeah that was just a complete experience 
experience that I will never ever ever forget it was just yeah I'm just absolutely speechless and if you can go and see it I would highly highly recommend it I really want to go and see the London production of it now because I enjoyed it that much and I don't know if it's going to be obviously the storyline will be the same but obviously I don't know if they'll do different bits here and there so I would love to go and see it but yeah just absolutely speechless that is the best 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 stage production I have ever ever seen and I wish like I could watch it back like I wish there was like videos of it online that I could watch back because there was just certain scenes where I was gobsmacked like literally gobsmacked at how they'd done it and I yeah I can't wait to look at behind the scenes and everything and see how they've done it I guess but yeah that was a very successful evening and we're all back now we're absolutely shattered it has been very much a dream day I can't believe I got my bag this morning I am going to do an unboxing which you guys would have already seen but yeah thank you so so much for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed let me know if you did by giving this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you very soon for another new york vlog Mwah. bye